Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is just extend the work that we were doing in the previous video where I showed you that if you've got a quadratic equation and it has roots alpha and beta, then the sum of the roots alpha plus beta was equal to minus b over a and the product of the roots alpha beta equaled c over a. And any quadratic equation can be expressed in terms of its roots as x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots equals zero. So extending this then, got a question here where we've got the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals zero has roots alpha and beta. And we've got to find the quadratic equation with roots 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. And then in the second question, a quadratic equation with roots alpha cubed and beta cubed. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just pause the video. And when you come back, you can check your working against mine as I take you slowly through the work solution. OK, well, what we need to do first of all is work out our values for alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So let's start with alpha plus beta, the sum of the roots first of all. Well that's equal to minus b over a, b is 4, a is 2, so we're going to end up with minus 4 over 2, which is minus 2. As for the product of the roots, alpha beta, that's c over a, and so it's going to be minus 3 over 2, so we've got minus 3 over 2 there. Now for part 1 here, when the roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta, we need to first of all work out what the sum of the roots are going to be for our quadratic equation. So we start off then with 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. And we've got to now change this so that we can pick up on these values that we've got up here. And we can put this over a common denominator, which will be alpha beta. And then we're going to have beta here plus alpha on top. And we can see now that we've got beta plus alpha, or alpha plus beta, that's minus 2. And then we're dividing this by alpha beta, which we can see here is minus 3 over 2. And this comes out as 4 thirds. So we've got this part then of our quadratic equation. We now turn to the product of the roots. So for the product of the roots, we're looking at 1 over alpha then multiplied with 1 over beta. And this will be then 1 divided by alpha beta. And we know the value of alpha beta there, so it's 1 divided by minus 3 over 2, and that gives us minus 2 thirds. So we're in a position then to say therefore the equation that we're after is, and it's going to be x squared minus the sum of the roots times x, so the sum of the roots is 4 thirds, so we've got minus 4 thirds x, and then plus the product to the roots, and that's minus 2 thirds, and that all equals 0. Could leave it like that, or you could multiply throughout by 3. And if you do that, you're going to get 3x squared minus 4x minus 2 equals 0. So I hope you're able to get that one. Now in the second one, it's quite common to get asked the cubes of the roots. And when it comes to working out what the sum of the roots are going to be, alpha cubed plus beta cubed, we first of all got to turn to an identity. A bit like what we did in the previous video with alpha squared plus beta squared. Only this time we look at alpha plus beta all cubed. And this is identical to and if you expanded this, you'd find you get alpha cubed plus 3 alpha squared beta plus 3 alpha beta squared and then plus beta cubed. And within this, you can see we've got the alpha cubed 
plus beta cubed, which is what we need to have when it comes to looking at the sum of the roots here. So from this, we can therefore say that alpha cubed plus beta cubed, well, that's going to be equal to all of alpha plus beta, all cubed, minus these two terms here. But I can pull out alpha beta as a common factor along with the 3 as well. So I get minus 3 alpha beta and then bracket alpha plus beta. So you can see that I've got alpha plus beta and alpha beta, which I know the values of up here. So filling those values in, alpha plus beta we know is minus 2. So we've got minus 2 all cubed. And then we've got minus 3 times alpha beta, which is minus 3 over 2. And then we've got times alpha plus beta, which is minus 2. And working this out, we end up with minus 17. Next, we need the product of the roots. So in other words, we need alpha cubed times beta cubed. And this is clearly alpha beta all cubed. We've got the value of alpha beta, it's minus 3 over 2, so we just need to cube that, and that comes out to be minus 27 over 8. And so we now have got what we need to write down what the equation is. So again, just a little intro there. The equation is, and it's going to be x squared minus the sum of the roots, so that's minus minus 17, so that's plus 17x, and then plus the product to the roots, which we now see is minus 27 over 8, and that equals 0. Again, with this, you could leave it like that, or you could multiply through by 8, and that's going to give you 8x squared plus 136x, and then minus 27, and that equals 0. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then on those types and uh, that you've been able to see how to do them. Okay.